Hi guys and welcome to this guitardomination.net video. This video is taken from the book Fingerstar 101, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, go to guitardomination.net and download it there. Right, this is the first example and I call this the going up pattern. I call the going up pattern because we go up the strings and we do briefly come back down them as well, but that doesn't have as much ring about it as the going up pattern. Okay. Before I take you through the real world play along example, I'm going to go through the basic example on the C, G and D chords. Okay, to play the pattern, we'll start with a C chord. You always start with the root note. So with a C chord, the root note is on the A string. Put that with a the thumb. Then we go G string, index finger, B string, middle finger, high E string, ring finger, B string, middle finger. G string index finger. So that's six plucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's A for the C chord, A string, basically root note, G, B, E, B, G. So you go up and down the strings nicely. So for the C chord again, one, two, three, four, five, six. For your G chord, root note now changes to the sixth string. Everything else is the same. Nice and simple there. For a D chord, root note is now the fourth string, the D string, so and everything else is the same. Okay, so that's your three chords of the basic example. It's a very simple little pattern, but it's a very sweet sounding pattern. Now we're going to go through the real world play along example. To start with, we play a G chord with the alternate folk version. So you're going to use middle ring and pinky. Pinky goes on the high E string, ring goes on the low E string, and middle goes on the A string. Middle finger is not actually needed because we don't pluck the A string here, but you can use it there as an anchor if you like. Okay, so we're going to pluck it just as I showed you. So root note, G, B, high E, B, G. Okay, that's one bar there. Now we're going to play the G major 7. Lift your pinky off. Add your index finger on the 2nd fret of the high E. Exactly the same pattern there, because we're on a G chord. Okay, now I'm going to slide that index finger down to the 1st fret. And pluck the same again. Okay, so that's our little intro, and it sounds like this. Okay, get that right first, then we'll add in the rest. Okay, and the next bar is E minor. Okay, so we're gonna hit the low E string because that's our root note for the E minor chord. Okay, plug that. So it's six, three, two, one, two, three. If you like to use string numbers rather than names instead, or low E, G, B, high E, B, G. Okay. You don't actually need to fret that chord there because we're not plucking the A and the D strings, so you can if you want. But I don't recommend it, because if you accidentally put the wrong string, it's going to sound rubbish, whereas if you accidentally pluck the wrong string and your fingers are on the chord, at least it'll sound a bit better, a bit more like an E minor chord. Okay, once you've done the E minor for one bar, change to the C, so it's root note now is on the A string. Okay, back to E minor, so root note back on the low E. Back to C, and then finish with an E major, so root note back on the low E. Okay, repeat the whole lot, you see the double dots in the tab at the end, that means you start from the beginning, it's a repeat sign, uh, and then once you've repeated it once, so you played it all through twice, we finish with a strum on the G. A nice arpeggiated strum, you can just do that with the thumb brush through the strings. And that there is the going up example. Take your time with it, master the pattern. It's a really, really cool little pattern. It's very, very common as well. Um, if you listen to REM's Everybody Hurts and you play that pattern with a D chord. G chord, the rock version of the G, so the one where 
yeah, fret, the third fret of the B string. Then you've got Everybody Hurts. Um, really cool song as well. Definitely recommend learning it. Practice your finger picking a little bit more. And this is a nice little simple pattern. That's pattern number one. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to take your time, get comfortable with it, and we'll move on to pattern number two. Alright, thanks. See you in the next one. Bye bye.